Taking things now to Talk of the Heartland, an event celebrating the arrival of the fall season. It's happening this weekend in Southern Illinois. The 12th annual Mount Vernon Fall Fest is set for this Friday and Saturday. People can enjoy a car show, vendors, activities for children, festival food, and a whole lot more. On Saturday afternoon, the parade will row through downtown Mount Vernon. I'm so happy to have Angela and Nat here to tell us more. How are you guys? Great, how are you? I'm great. I'm really happy to be with you because I am from Southern Illinois, the Mount Vernon area, and to be able to represent this event is very exciting. How excited are you guys for this? We're very excited. It's, it's going to be a great weekend. So to anybody who maybe doesn't know what this is, how would you explain it to them, just experiencing it for the first time? Well, this will be, I believe, our 13th annual Fall Fest. Um, it always takes place the last weekend of September in Mount Vernon, and it's completely free. So a lot of people love that. You can come, uh, no parking, no admission, free entertainment um, on the SSM Health Good Samaritan stage. Cool. Um, that's Friday night and Saturday night. Was, um, we have some great uh, headlining acts. And then we also have a cruise in on Friday night. Um, and then um, Natalie takes care of a lot of the kids zone stuff. So to the families who want to take part in the free. What can you tell us about it? It's all free. Come on out. We have games. We have inflatables. There's so many things for families to come and do and do for free. And we love that. We love bringing everybody into the community for us all to have that small town feeling, but with free activities for everybody to do. Absolutely. And I think across the board, a lot of people do believe, you know, things are expensive. Life is expensive. Yeah. To be able to have an event just for free for families to come on out to, how special is that? Oh, it's amazing. It we is. even have pumpkin decorating. So mm -hmm. the kids will be able to take that, make a pumpkin, take it home, a little extra decor. There's so many fun things to do. Yeah, and we have a lot of great vendors that people, if they do want to spend money, they can <laughs> can visit. And we have a fabulous food truck court. Um, we have, I think, more than 18 food vendors with a variety of cuisine, everything from Ooh. Korean American food to traditional carnival and fair food. I feel like the Mount Vernon food truck scene oftentimes is underrated. You guys got a lot of good food out there. We do. We do. Yes. Yeah. Also, we were talking a little bit about the live music. Oh my goodness. Who should we expect? Are you guys revealing that just yet? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. On um, Friday night, uh, Hunter Girl will be our headliner. She was runner up on American Idol and oh, cool. has spent some of the t uh, summer opening up for Luke Bryan. What? Yeah. How did this happen? Uh, we're just cool like that. <laughs> Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> and we do have um, Southern Grit opening up for her, um, which is a regional Southern Illinois band. They do country, classic rock, that kind of stuff. And then on Friday, we get the music started right after the parade. Oh, fun. Saturday. Saturday, yes. Saturday, um, right after the parade, which starts at 1. So the music will be a little after 2. And it starts out with Stir of Echoes. Um, and the, followed by Danger Party. Danger Party is a St. Louis area band, and they actually recently won the Battle of the Bands wow. and got to open up for Bon Jovi in St. Louis. And we have them in Mount Vernon. You guys are just cool like that. Oh, yeah. And they've got to the best part yet. <laughs> What's the best part? Fuel. Absolutely. Is our headliner. They, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys really are just cool like that. We are. Wow. You definitely need to come out and experience it. I, I Well, it's hometown. I, I yeah. kind of have to at this point. Yeah, for sure. Um, I do have to ask you guys, while you are here, is there a plan for the weather? If, if the weather maybe isn't too good? It is a rain or shine event, but um, we will, of course, be paying attention to if things are not safe for people to be out. Um, we're very fortunate to have great partners with the city of Mount Merton and the Jefferson County Emergency Management. Yes. And they um, keep us apprised of what is coming and projected. Right now, we're still doing the whole pray that it misses us. Um, <laughs> I, I'm positive like yes. that. So we were supposed to get remnants from Francine um, uh, just a week or so ago, and they passed us up. So okay. we're still Fingers going crossed. for that. Um, if not, we will just enjoy the times we can. Yeah. If there's just a sprinkle or so, we're still having the parade, still having the entertainment. Um, so people can just come out and learn to dance in the rain and have a good time. Um, but we will let them know if they think something's unsafe and that they shouldn't be out. Well, thank you both for taking the time to be here very, very much. And we will have more information available on the website and also taking the drive out here. We appreciate it very much. Cassie.